Hi, my name is Zachary Burns and I'm an amateur radio operator. My call sign is November 8 Zulu Alpha Kilo. That's N8ZAK. I'm located about 10 miles south of Toledo, Ohio. And uh, today I'm going to talk about FL Digi and uh, doing some PSK and a couple other digital modes on HF. So, uh, well, let's just get started. I'm going to launch uh, my web browser and uh, you can go to my website www.n8zak.com and download FL Digi if you like uh, you can go to file listing and go to digital communication software and you'll see FL Digi for uh, a number of different platforms Linux, Ma Linux, Mac and uh, Windows platforms also source code is there uh, there's a couple other things if you want to try out PSK for some uh, uh, in some different software configurations the um, Digipan uh, software works pretty well. There's Ham Radio Deluxe, but I'll tell you why I like FL Digi uh, primarily because it works on Linux, Mac, and um, Windows platforms. I can put it on my MacBook, I can put it on my Linux box, I can put it on my netbook, take it with me, and do field day with it. So it's a pretty uh, pretty robust platform, and I'll show you that to you. The uh, developer also updates it quite often. You can go to www.w1hkj.com and uh, click here for new releases. And he updates this. Uh, actually, the developers, I believe there's a couple of them, update it uh, quite a regular basis. Uh, past six or seven days, there's probably been four updates or so. So check that out also. Uh, let's start up FL Digi right here. And this morning, uh, let's go ahead and configure our rig control so we don't have to touch any knobs. I'm going to use the RigCat library and uh, the uh, IC7000 uh, library. So right now I can actually control the rig and go over to, uh, we'll go over to 14070, which is on the 20 meter, um, on the uh, 20 meter band. And uh, it goes ahead and controls the rig right for you, which is kind of neat. So actually, it looks like there's some PSK coming in right here. Um, and uh, this, let's see if we can look this up real quick. Uh, here's uh, at the top part is uh, data coming in. And at the bottom part is data we want to send. So you can actually uh, double click on this call and it fills in right here at the top. And if you want, you can click this little button here. It'll look it up on QRZ. And it uh, looks like that was a signal coming in from Australia. And uh, pretty good signal coming in, too. Um, we'll see if we can get that one. I actually don't have Australia on my map of uh, contacts. So let's see if we can just answer his QSO. And what happened right now is my signal link kicked in. And we're uh, replying to him and telling him my call sign. And we'll see if he comes back to me. And you can see down here from uh, essentially zero on the waterfall all the way up to 3,000 is uh, what you would normally use for a sideband. Um, that's 3,000 hertz. Normally that would be a, a sideband's worth of voice conversation. But you can see you can fit all this digital traffic in here. Here's a PSK. Here's a PSK. Here's a PSK signal. Um, you can actually... Uh, um, if you're not really sure what some of these different digital modes look like, FL Digi actually does a whole bunch of them. There's CW, it'll decode, it'll do uh, MFSK if you want to send pictures, uh, MT63 if you want to do some MCOM work, there's Olivia, uh, that's used on HF bands, PSK, like we said, RIDI, it'll do RIDI. Uh, if you want to download NOAA weather satellite information too, you can do that uh, using some of the WeFax uh, stuff. Um, if you're a little curious as to what some of these modes look like, you can actually go back to the w1hkj.com and click on the sights and sounds. And uh, he's uh, got a lot of these modes kind of laid out. So you can see what a PSK signal looks like. You can look see what a MFSK signal looks like, what it sounds like, um, what a RIDI uh, signal looks like, Olivia, that kind of thing. Um, typically, if you're going to listen to these, um, it, it essentially sounds like this. That's PSK. And uh, here's a signal coming in. But to me that's pretty distracting. 
and it looks like this is this signal is pretty strong, pretty overdriven. The IC7000 in the signal link, it's a little touchy. I'm gonna have to put a resistor in there to, to back some of that audio level down a little bit, but uh, it works pretty well. Um, let's see uh, see if we can jump back to this guy, and he was over here. Yep, South Carolina. Fix that and uh, do it again here. And uh, the signal browser over here is a listing of all PSK signals within this band that are actually coming in. And at contest time, uh, this thing's lighting up like fireworks. It's just going nuts. So uh, that's kind of neat. And you can actually double click on one of those bands. And up um, oh, here we go. Here's. Uh, And he's in Hilton Head, South Carolina. And you can see, you can barely keep up with my typing. So this is sort of how the QSO goes. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> and you can actually double click on this and it'll move your frequency over a little bit. And uh, he's saying uh, good copy and what kind of equipment he's running. He's running 40 watts. I'm actually only using uh, 18 watts by the time it gets to the antenna. It's probably 15 watts or so. <clears throat> It looks like somebody keeps bumping me off frequency, so, and I'll tell you a little bit about that too. Um, and uh, we'll uh, So hopefully that gives you a little bit of uh, kind of a little flavor as to how a PSK QSO goes, how to use FL Digi on HF, and um, just kind of in general how to have fun with ham radio. And uh, it does bridge the gap a little bit between uh, uh, the internet and some of these newer technologies on you know looking up call signs or 
or uh, you know what uh, I can even show you uh, you know what we'll cover that in the next video on how you can even track uh, and use the internet to see where signals are coming from and what the band conditions are like so we'll cover that in the next video and uh, we'll have fun uh, my name is Zach N8ZAK and 7 threes.